Hey guys, it's Danae Johnson from Hello Well, and I'm so excited. I've got the lovely Kristen from Hoochie Booch Kombucha joining me. Um, if you're not familiar with kombucha, well, we are going to educate you today and teach you why it is so great for your health. So Kristen, can you educate us? What is kombucha and why should people be drinking it? So simply put, kombucha is fermented tea. It's tea that has allowed to sit over time and over this time creates what we call a delicious fizzy beverage kombucha. It tastes like healthy pop yeah, to me. Yeah, we like, call it adult soda. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's not just for adults, but yeah, it's like the low sugar, healthy for you option for pop. I'm excited to make it with Kristen today. My uh, partner and I, we drink a ton of kombucha in our mm -hmm. house, mainly because, you know, like health issues are prevalent today. 80% of your immune system yeah. is in your gut. So consuming foods that are fermented, whether it be sauerkraut, kombuchas, that really helps your gut health. So absolutely, I'm all for it. the kombucha. <laughs> yes, yeah. So in order to make kombucha, you guys are gonna need some tea, either black or green tea. As Kristen mentioned, we're gonna need half a cup of sugar. And most importantly, you need a SCOBY. So if you don't have a SCOBY at home, you can either get one from a friend or even better, you can just order one through Kristen's website. Awesome, okay, so I have no idea what we're doing, so teach me, what, okay. how do we do this? All right, so Danae, have you made tea before? I have made tea. Okay, good, then you're good, you're okay. golden. So okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil two cups of water. So with kombucha, it's important to know um, that all the tea that you're going to ferment with needs to be black or green tea. It does, I was gonna ask blend. that. Yeah, okay. it needs to be caffeinated. It's really neat that the, the culture actually feeds off the caffeine. Mm. So and you guys actually sell these kits, right? If somebody sure is do. wanting to make their own kombucha at home, yeah. um, you guys sell the kits, all the ingredients that somebody would need to make it? You got it. Everything you see nice. here, it's three rounds of kombucha. So you're all set for three rounds. The best thing about our kits is that we have an online follow-up program where basically we're checking in on you and uh, letting you know what to expect as the fermentation period progresses and then when to taste it and, and tell you what's happening. Okay, so our water is boiling. Okay. So what's up next? Let's um, get a pot. Okay, so Kristen has instructed me to get a pot. Mm -hmm. We're now going to add two cups of hot water. You got it. Okay, let's do it. I love being the student. Today. Right? I know it's fun. Awesome. You're very good. <laughs> Yeah. teacher gold stars oh shit. yeah okay now let's pop in our tea bag okay so just oh my gosh the yeah, steam ooh. is like oh i feel like i'm getting a good facial right yeah. now from all the steam mm -hmm. i need that okay so just pop one in. one tea bag you got it that's good enough and put a lid on it We're okay gonna steep it for eight minutes eight minutes yeah timer yeah. all right so we've got our tea it's been sitting for the last eight minutes so what next all right, so lift up the lid. Now we're going to take the tea bag out. Okay. And squeeze it. Give it a nice little squeeze. It might okay. be hot. Is that hot? You guys Ooh, see this? Danae's got strong <laughs> fingers. Ooh. I'm tough. She's tough. <laughs> All right. Good. And then we can compost that. I yep. love it. All right. You're so environmentally mindful. Always. And now take up one of the uh, uh, bags of sugar. Okay. So this is a half cup of sugar for a two liter batch and you're just going to pour it all in there. And does it matter what kind of sugar we use? It sure does. Okay. Yeah, I know. This is the biggest um, headache, if you will, biggest misconception about kombucha is that it's full of sugar. Yes, you do need sugar to make kombucha. Here, I'll take the bag. Thank you. You bet. And stir to dissolve. Okay. You need sugar to make kombucha, but okay. the sugar is for this guy. It is very important to not cut back on the sugar and also to keep your sugar like regular sugar, whether it be Roger's sugar or just use organic cane sugar, which is what we use. The sugar that's going into your kombucha is strictly for your SCOBY. It's not for you. Once again, the SCOBY is that guy. So basically this guy needs sugar to be able to ferment. You got it. Okay, so what do we do? The sugar is dissolved. All right, nice and dissolved. Now you can pour it into your clean glass jar. So you can see it doesn't fill it up quite so much. So now we're gonna top this with cold water okay. to about the third line from the top. Mm -hmm. So go there. Yeah. Okay. And it's feeling a little bit warm, so we're gonna allow this to cool to room temperature, probably about a half an hour in the fridge. So cool, and then we'll come back. See you then. Yeah. All right, so we're just about finished here. Wow. Um, yeah, it's actually that easy. Okay. So why don't you open this guy up? Okay. And then you can just pour them in. This creeps, the SCOBY creeps 
me out a little bit. Like all the like juices. Like yeah, it's a little weird. So what is this actually? It's like it's a it's just bacteria. Yeah, it's like a bacterial cellulose. Like a living thing, right? It is. It's okay. alive. And like we said, another one will grow. You yeah. will grow your very own. Okay, so you're going to pour the liquid in. I can just pour this whole thing in? Well, I think you should touch it. Ew! <laughs> yeah, yeah, pour the liquid in first. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's like slimy. Oh, yeah. oh my God. It's, Isn't that crazy? It's kind of creepy. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. It smells like kombucha. Right? Smells like vinegar. Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, there put you go. it in. Plop her in. Oh, bye bye, baby. Bye. bye. There you go. <laughs> and you see now it's filled up right to the line. Okay. Brilliant. And now you'll take your breathable lid. Oh, okay. So why do we need a breathable lid? Yeah, so again, going back to thinking that this is an alive uh, culture, yeah. it needs to breathe. It needs okay. air to breathe. Yep, so you're going to put that Plastic. on, make sure that there's no. Holes, no holes or anything. Okay. okay, so we've got everything in our uh, in our jar here. It's ready to ferment. So how long should this sit before we can drink it? Yeah, so because we're in Canada and it's very cold, um, most, hey. right? <laughs> most recipes on the internet actually say about seven days. Okay. Like I've never had a kombucha be done in seven days. Okay. It's generally like minimum 10, probably like for our palate. So you gotta consider the longer you let kombucha ferment, the more sour it will become. Okay. So you probably, your kombucha will probably be done anywhere between 14 to 20 days. Okay. And you'll wanna taste it, just so you know, you find that sweet spot. So would you say taste it after like seven days? Yeah. Or? Okay. Taste it at seven, taste it at 10, taste okay. it at 14. And then at 14, you're probably really gonna notice a difference and then keep more of an eye on it, like 14, 15. Because once you know your sweet spot of fermenting time, you're golden. Right. And the next time you make it, you just know it'll be done on day 20. And does it become more nutrient rich and probiotics the longer it sits? Not really. Oh, no, okay. no. It's, uh, it just becomes more like vinegar. So yeah, that's not really what we're going for. No. I would say though, like you want it to go at least till it tastes sour with a okay. little bit of sweet because then if you don't let it go for as long, it will still have a lot of sugar in it. Lots to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so about 10 days. You got it. Bam. Okay, so we've got our kombucha fermenting. So we're gonna do that for seven to 10 days. Mm -hmm. Now, what about after that if I wanna flavor it? Like if I wanna make like a ginger kombucha, yeah. how do I do that? Absolutely, that's for me the most fun part, the most creative. You literally can flavor your kombucha with anything. The key thing when flavoring is that this is where the scoby will be removed. Okay. So you always want to have your flavors separate from your SCOBY. Okay. So at day 10, day 14, whenever that kombucha tastes done to you, you'll pour it from your fermenting jar into your glass container with a lid okay. that is clean as well. So you'll pour that in there. And then on the side, you can juice your ginger. You probably won't need a lot of ginger juice, about maybe a teaspoon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not very much at all. And then okay. top it up. You could also do turmeric juice. Really nice. yummy. That's what we got here is our turmeric tonic. Ooh. So good. So you could just take, like, if somebody has a juicer. Yeah. Could you use a blender, you think? Probably yeah, you not. you probably could. Yeah. And then, like, strain it. Let's just go with a juicer. Yeah. <laughs> so juice some ginger or turmeric, only a teaspoon, then fill this up with... This yeah, top it up with your fermented kombucha. Okay. And then you're gonna put it back into your warm, dark place for about five days. Okay. Now, the thing to keep in mind is because it's got a sealed lid on it now, um, you're creating the bubbles. Right. The yeast will now be turning itself into CO2. Ooh. So you don't wanna forget about this because you could actually have a bit of an explosion. Yes, yeah. I've experienced that with sauerkraut oh. before. <laughs> I went in and it was like <laughs> overflowing. No. no. Yeah, my whole back room smelled like dirty crow. Like, yeah, like dirty feet. Oh my it does God. not smell good. No. Okay, so keep an eye on it. Place, you probably yeah. don't fill it to the top. Yeah, to about like the uh, like how we've got there. Okay. Just to the neck. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Can we try some of the finished product? Yeah, let's do it. You want yes. to do the turmeric? Yes, I okay, do. Got some glasses. Yes, and of course we have to do it in champagne flutes. Feeling fancy. Because we're fancy AF. Yeah. I have to say your turmeric one is like my fave. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Babe. Thank you. It's my favorite too. It's freaking delicious. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cheers. 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 Woo mm. That's so good. So good. Oh my god. Well, thank you so much, Kristen, for coming.
coming and teaching me how to make kombucha. Thanks for having me. I'm actually surprised at how easy this was. Right? It's super easy. Very easy. Anybody can do this. If you guys want to make your own kombucha, Kristen, where can people order your kits? Yeah, visit us uh, on our website at hoochiebooch.com. Just look for the kit option there and click away. Yay! Cheers. Here's to gut health. Yay! <laughs> Trust your gut. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye.